Hey everybody, welcome to uh, this series of Cloud Chat. My guest and I, uh, David Harbour, I think he's here. Um, he may still be logging in, but we're talking about photo editing 101. We're talking about basic MLS pictures that make it into the system to be advertised and, and help market your clients' properties. Uh, what can you do to make those photos better? What can you do to make your graphics and images a higher quality to best represent your clients? So today we're going to share a couple little quick things with you. The first one I want to start off uh, with is called Ribbit. So I'm going to do a little bit of a screen share here with you folks. Uh, let's just jump on in here and I'll change my screen here in one second to bring you into the Ribbit site. Uh, Ribbit.com is similar to what Picnic used to be. Picnic was a free editing uh, tool that you could use online. Uh, you just go to their website and you could upload images and make edits and changes and overlays and all kinds of fun stuff. And then you could download them back to your computer. Uh, the company did so well that uh, Google bought them a few years back and now made that part of the photo editing process for both Picasa, uh, their online photo storage site, and also for Google Plus for images and going and doing photo editing. So Ribbit came along and has the same look, the same feel as Picnic. Uh, this is absolutely free. You can take any image from the site. Uh, you don't have to be a member, and if you are a member, it'll store whatever you upload. Uh, but you don't have to be a member of the site. You don't have to sign up for anything. You just click on this big red button here, edit a photo, and you can actually upload any image to the site from either your desktop uh, from even social media, from Facebook or Google Plus or a Flickr account. You could even take a picture of yourself live with your webcam and upload it. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just grab this image uh, the, of the Tech Campus. We'll open this up. And one of the things I was doing earlier was just kind of making making some uh, uh, some pointers uh, with a lot of friends and, and family about uh, our new workspace uh, over at the at the RE Tech Campus. Uh, with EXP Realty over there, and it, it was funny because I told him I was I was had a dream last night where I was actually in a in a four wheel drive golf cart uh, powering around this property um, <laughs> on the campus, and so this is a perfect image to just give you a little idea of what you can do. So you can go in and use a lot of these free tools here on Ribbit. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time going into every single detail because there's so many different things you can do. Uh, but I'm going to talk about some basics. So first of all, you can do a lot of different things with uh, just a basic image. If this were, um, say this was a real estate property or interior photo or maybe an exterior picture, even a graphic or something you've taken with your uh, mobile device, you can come in here and click on the single button that says auto fix. And what it does is it goes in and just look what it did to the color. Look what it did to the sand. It brought the sand to life. Now I'm going to undo that so you can get a before and after. So let's click on undo. And just look at how it looks a little hazy. Uh, it it, it kind of looks a little light. There's no real contrast between the sand, the water, and the sky. And all I did was a single click on auto fix, and look what it does. It makes the sand, the, the, the umbrellas, the beach really have a contrast uh, and a lot finer definition. Now, some of the tools you have are the ability to crop. You can go in and use this cropping tool using uh, scaling. You just drag a corner, whatever you want to show. Maybe you want to make a little postcard, invite somebody to an event. You could do something like this. This actually reminds me of that Corona uh, commercial, just that little piece. You could crop that. If you do something like you apply that and decide, oh, no, that's not what I wanted, there is the oh, crap button right up here. Um, that's not not the preferred choice of words I would have used, but uh, this is a G-rated event and show and program. And so, um, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I, I wanted the other piece. Well, you could click this undo and get your picture back. If you are on an iPhone, an Android, you know, sometimes you take a picture, it's vertical, and then you turn it sideways and it flips on you. You could use the rotation tool within the Ribbit site to just simply flip your photos one way or the other. You can even invert them uh, backwards, forwards, all kinds of different things you can do. Even just make them a little cockeyed. Um, as you can see here, I'm just kind of using the straighten tool to, to put a tilt. Sometimes people take a horizon and go, if only I was standing up straight or focused. Well, now you could take that, that horizon 
and you can just level it out and make that that landscape just look perfect, perfectly uh, um, centered, uh, perfect vertical and horizontally uh, straightened out there. Just using this little tool right here. There's some other things you can do, and then you get exposure. Uh, you can get into the exposure. You can go in and you can adjust your highlights. You can add shadows. You can take the contrast down to nothing. You can take it to where, um, and really, folks, until you experiment with this stuff, it's really hard to say. I mean, this is actually kind of a cool, um, if I was going to be doing a marketing or advertising piece and I wanted to, to you know, put some text overlay that really popped on this, you can really do some fun stuff. You just have to get in here and experiment and practice a little bit. Try some different things and don't be afraid because you always have your original picture so you can't really break anything here or do anything wrong. Remember, you can always apply it and if you don't like what you've done, just click undo and you're right back to where you left off. So there's the original photo right there. You can sharpen, you can adjust the uh, clarity, the quality, uh, sharpness by just pulling these faders uh, over here on the left to a certain percentage and then it'll just totally change your picture. Now, if you're used to Adobe Photoshop and some of these really, you know, they're very intense programs and you can do a lot more stuff with those types of programs if you understand all the different things you can do and if you understand all the processes that it takes to get an image to do something that is simple as ribbit, you just slide a fader. Um, I just find this to be very user intuitive, very user friendly. You can't break it. You can't make a mistake. And for me, I use it nearly every day. Here's another feature I really like is the resize. Some of uh, my, even my iPhone and some of the cameras and photos I see people take, they're huge. They're like 8,000 you know, megabytes or some crazy 6,000 pixels wide by you can come here and say, you know what, I want this to fit on an 800 by 600 monitor. And now you've reduced the size of the photo. You can save it as a much smaller file. It'll upload quicker. This is also very important when you're building a website. Man, if you upload an image that's 8,000 pixels and you know 10 megabits, I'm telling you, you're, you're asking for trouble and the user interface or the user's end results and their experience, uh, user experience is not what you want them to have on your site. So try to use smaller images. Here's a great way to come in and just reduce them. Just lower it down to whatever size is going to make it presentable, but a size that doesn't take forever to load. Um, I kind of actually liked that auto fix. I'm going to go back with that auto fix there. I just like the contrast and what it does with the color and, and how it makes the umbrellas really pop on this picture. Uh, folks, there's a lot more you can do. I, I could spend probably a couple of hours. Uh, I plan on having a workshop. If you'll come back and join us at RE Tech Campus, just go to uh, campus or retechcampus.com first, and then you can look at the calendar and, and look for the next uh, event we're going to do for um, where we really drill down into all the, the, the finer details of, of this, this program and a couple of others, uh, Pick Monkey. And there's a few other photo editing sites we're going to really drill down and do some hands-on workshops with. So uh, look for the retechcampus.com calendar and just book it. Come on into the cloud. You can watch us live on uh, TV. You can watch us on YouTube uh, live stream. You can watch the archive videos. Um, no commitment. You just got to take the time to sit down and learn this stuff. We've done it so we can teach you. We hope you'll come by and at least learn that. Uh, real quick, a few other things. You've got a lot of the different effects you can add to these photos. You can do text overlays. Look at all of these effects. And I mean, you're not doing anything but just clicking a button. And look at the effect it has on that image. Can everybody see that? Can you guys see all this? Beautiful. So, so I'm just showing you this, that if you don't come in here and experiment, you're never going to know what kinds of things you can do with those photos um, that you have. You can fix photos. You can also enhance photos. You can do text overlays. I'm going to discard that application. Uh, if I want to do a text overlay, I could say, um, just type the word and it puts it right on the screen for you. You can then move that anywhere you want on the screen. You can add different colors. You can make that red. We'll make that a nice sunburn on the beach. Uh, in this case, I actually kind of like the blue to match those um, umbrellas. Let's see, can we get close to that? And that's kind of close there, right? So then you can move this wherever you want it. 
and boom, that's it. There are stickers, folks. There are touch-up. If there's people in your pictures, you can add makeup, get rid of red eyes, fix blemishes, get rid of that forehead shine that I always have in my pictures. You can even airbrush uh, pictures, wrinkle remover, suntan, you name it, it's here. Then you can even add frames. This is one of my favorite parts. Uh, you can lift things off the paper. I like to add a little border. Uh, I'll pick a color for the border, maybe try to match those popping blues. Uh, we'll go with that one. And then you can decide how thick you want that border. So I can make this thing look really kind of, you know, uh, in a frame, so to speak. You do have an inner thickness. You see that white border going around the picture just inside of the blue frame? You can make that a little bigger if you like. You can also add a caption. You can round the corners. There is just so much stuff you can do with this. But one of my favorite things is coming down here and adding this drop shadow. Watch what happens when I add drop shadow. And I'm going to exaggerate it a bit. Really lift it off the paper. We'll go at about 60 degrees. And you can see that really starting to pop down there. Maybe uh, make that a little bit uh, less... Just a little lighter, maybe. How about like that? And then all you have to do, folks, whenever you're done, your picture is exactly how you want it. You've experimented. You've explored. You've discovered all the cool free things you can do on, on Ribbit. Then you don't go to the fourth one over here, which is the Save tab. Right across the top here, Home, Library, Edit, and Save. Just click on Save. Apply that drop shadow. Here's where you give your uh, subject in this case, uh, I'm going to call it a picture. It could be a graphic, could be an image, uh, could be a logo. Uh, we're going to call this the um, – get my keyboard to work here. There we go. Now it's working. Hopefully you're all seeing this. <laughs> it says I'm still screen sharing, so I sure hope I am. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to call this R-E Beach. And now look at this down here. I can either save this as a PNG file or I can save it as a uh, JPEG file. I would go for JPEG depending on where I'm going to use this. If I need it to be something that's going to be a little bit more flexible, uh, we can get into the difference between JPG and PNG in our next session. Uh, but I'm just going to go with JPG for the sake of time today, and I want the best compression. So even right now at 8, it's 197 kilobytes. If I bring this over to best compression, it's only going to be 473 kilobytes, which is much smaller than that 8 megabyte photo that we started with. All we have to do now is say save the photo, decide where you want to save it on your computer. I'll do this on my desktop. Call it RE Beach, and that's it. Click save. It downloads the very picture that you created on the site. Now you've uploaded it. Now we can go to the desktop, and hopefully you're still seeing the desktop. And I can open up that image right here, and there it is. Real easy to do, folks. It's a really cool site. It's called Ribbit. The other one is called PicMonkey, P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y.com. PicMonkey.com. A lot of different features, a lot of the same type of features. They both offer something unique uh, to their own site. They're both free. Uh, if you do create an account on either of the sites, I believe it lets you keep a, a library of up to 100 images so it remembers what you've uploaded previously so you can use them again. For example, logos and uh, different icons that you're, you're using uh, more frequently. So let's see. I'm going to come back over here, check the questions box. I'm looking at my Twitter handle. I got the phone open here. I'm also looking at my iPad, uh, looking on my social media here, checking my boxes. I'm actually in the cloud campus right now seeing if anybody needs any help with this. And if not... Then what I'm going to do is bring us back to the stop screen sharing and bring you back to the Hangout. And let's see, any other questions? Uh, David, you're here yet? David didn't make it. So, you know, it's my fault on that. Uh, David Harbour was going to join us, and David Harbour is on the East Coast. And so uh, when I set this up for 4 p.m. on a Friday night, I didn't realize that it was 7 p.m. in David's time. And so... Uh, he is definitely excused uh, and, and pardoned from tonight's uh, hangout. So, folks, thanks for for watching. I hope you're. Uh, I hope you got something out of this. If you want to come back to retechcampus.com, we'll be launching that calendar uh, for April coming soon. You can get the April events emailed to you if you want to register at retechcampus.com.
and I'm going to be doing some more hangouts like this. We're going to be doing some cloud chats. We're going to be doing some interviews. I'm going to be having some workshops. We'll have a lot of live training and, and uh, um, panels and presentations happening at the campus. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for joining me. Have a great Friday, and I'll see you next time in the cloud. Thanks.